Okay, guys, welcome back. If you belong to category one or two, you do not need to worry about the visa or residence permit matters right now. Proceed with the next lectures. But if you belong to category three, that means you need to apply for your visa entry visa in your country of residence prior to entering Germany, then it's important for you to plan things around that. That means from some countries, you can immediately go and apply for a German visa, right? They are quick. There are not too many people who want to come to Germany from that in your country in that case, or there is high capacity. Then there is not a big waiting time. But in some countries like India, like Iran, like Turkey, there is some waiting time. There, sometimes this waiting time can go over years. That's crazy, right? Over years of waiting in order to be able to apply for a visa, to go to the German embassy and say, hey, I have an invitation to student click, allow me to apply for the visa. So it's important for you to get an understanding what the timelines are. Basically, what you can do is to go to the German embassy's website in your country of residence, and then see there is a section about timelines, about uh, a booking an appointment. You can do that there, or they always have a contact form. Contact them. That's very important. You know, we have talked about correspondence. Correspondence is important. Write to them and say, hi, my name is this and that. I would like to apply for a study visa in order to go to Germany and attend a Studien colleague, right? Please let me know how long the waiting time for a visa appointment is. Thank you. This and that my name. Okay. Once you send this, you get an answer from the German embassy, the country where you, where you live. And based on that, you can decide, okay, is there a bottleneck there? Do I need to consider that in my timeline or no? They say in two weeks, three weeks, you usually get an appointment and I'm all safe. First, I focus on my application for admission and everything. And then whenever I have the invitation letter, then I get an appointment at the embassy. Depends on your country. That I cannot say right now, but I'm sure that you can take care of this, making sure that in terms of timing, you're all safe and secure. We have had cases, I have seen cases where an applicant has received an invitation from a student colleague, but the German embassy has said, yeah, well, you need to wait for six months till I allow you to come and apply for a visa. So basically that invitation letter was then sort of of no value. The applicant had to reapply or wait much longer time to do that. Make sure you check the appointment situation at the German embassy of your country of residence way in advance if you are from category three, if you need a visa for entering Germany.